Welcome to an introduction to Winget. Today, we'd like to share with you how you might be able to drive more business growth for your company, leveraging emerging technology solutions, such as the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence. IoT and AI is rapidly being adopted all around you, cross vertically. As you've probably seen, more and more companies are recognizing the fact that IoT and AI must be part of their core infrastructure to continue to maintain their growth and competitiveness in their individual verticals. Now, using manufacturing as a baseline or an example, we'd like to share with you what we see as some of the existing challenges today, despite the past investments that companies have made. We recognize that many companies have made process modification improvements. They may have added certifications. They may have even moved from an Excel-based environment into an ERP, MES, or CRM type of system. We also recognize that early stage digital automation may have occurred. You may have added RPA or cobots. You may have bought some sort of BI or visualization tool. Maybe you just started to integrate a few of the tools you have in house. Despite these types of investments, consistently across verticals, we are seeing certain problems emerge. One, companies continue to buy tools and products versus solutions. Yes, these tools and products have value. Yes, they are fixing a piece or improving a piece of their business, but it's not actually providing a solution that holistically addresses the overall challenge of a company's business processes and their overall inefficiencies that they face. Automation is definitely occurring in a, in a much bigger way, but it's happening in silos. It's actually automating inefficiency itself. Things like RPA are, yes, removing the, the human interaction or human component of the process, but it's not actually improving the processes or collapsing them down at all. So the inefficiency remains despite the automation. Data is more abundant than ever before. We see customers with so much data coming from their machines, their systems, and even outside their company, but it's all disparate. It's in islands. It's definitely not real time. And we see even the largest of companies having to pull this data from all these different islands in order to make any sense of it into something like Excel. We see visualization tools being used. That makes the data easier to read. Yes, it makes it a little bit sexier with the graphs, and, and that's awesome, but at the end of the day, it's not affecting the underlying business processes that actually are leading to the cost, to the quality issues, to the on-time performance that you're facing. And lastly, even though all of these tools and products have a reporting capability, they have to, they're not giving you any proactive action. You have to read that data and then take the action. You're not getting any sort of insight into the data patterns of your business. You're not getting to see the correlation and the interaction and the impacts of one event and how it triggers another. And you're definitely not getting any alerts that have action take place without you even being involved. And that's where Winget comes in. We are that industry 4.0 bridge that are, that's addressing all of these problems. We're giving you that real-time access once and for all to all the systems, products, and tools within your environment. And we're not just doing that at the production level, but throughout your business. We're digitally transforming the manual processes that you have. That's usually one of the first places that we start. The solutions that we offer, not products or tools, but the solutions are actually matching and improving your business processes. And lastly, we're empowering your workforce, lowering the risk of humans, and giving you the ability to make better, faster, more targeted business decisions. Now, we do this very holistically. We take a very different approach than most other companies in this space. We're not just focused on the plant floor because your business is more than just a production component. We actually help companies, for example, on the front end with order entry. How do they bring in information more quickly, distribute that information throughout their organization and reply quicker to their customers? 
How do we give marketing and sales the ability to be empowered to go out there and get better business, higher profitable business that they've always wanted with better data and results? We bring, of course, operations and quality improvements. This is par for the course. IT and OT systems, we talked about those islands are finally brought together and woven together. Finance is given the ability, not from an EBITDA perspective, but from a revenue leakage perspective to see where the real cost centers are in your business. Where is a true inefficiency and where is a profitability if you make certain investments in those areas? We give a tremendous amount of flexibility to customers to remain viable and productive despite issues going, around, going on around them. And lastly, management has the ability to have real-time visibility into one or more aspects of their business, which is absolutely critical in today's environment. Here are a few examples on the order entry side. We have improved business processes through IoT and AI by collapsing down the steps needed to accomplish the same event. Ideally, if you can, with zero human intervention, but if necessary, a much smaller footprint of that. From a marketing and sales perspective, we are helping you to go out and get more orders and higher profitability orders, but in a very unique way. Your customers right now are using Amazon, Uber, Google, all these technologies in their day-to-day -day life. And then they work with you and your company. And many times they're going 20 years backwards. If you want more orders and higher profits, you've got to do something different. You've got to build some trust, provide a differentiated customer experience, starting with real-time visibility into their orders, just like they're able to get everywhere else. Operations, you've got so much data all around you, as we mentioned, in not just the machines and sensors, but in systems. You've got to finally leverage all that data you have. Quality is such a critical part of any company's business. You can reduce your errors, get that higher quality by using vision sense or, or camera-based technologies to replace the mistakes of humans or at least to double check their work. IT and OT systems, again, can start to weave in this whole variety of data sources that you have, have the map and weave into the different business processes that you have across departments to get you the actionable information and results that you want once and for all. Finance can start to target and attack the cost centers all the way down to an individual person or even machine level so that you prioritize your efforts. Critical projects are such a, a big part of what we do because it's the flexibility to adapt with your environment that makes you the strongest competitor out there. We helped a customer during COVID to use the smartphones that all of their employees already had on them to trigger an alert if they got within six feet of each other so that they could remain productive while also being safe. And lastly, management finally has that real-time visibility across their entire business, across geographies, to take action uh, on the different KPIs and the different areas of their business that matter most. Now, we do this with a platform-based approach to unify your data, to bring you the analytics that you need. And what we do is we, we very carefully understand your core systems, whatever those may be, the key departments and processes that make your business work, the machines and sensors throughout your entire company, and even the systems related to the customers you have and the partners that help you be successful. And we pull the needed data, the most important processes from all of these, and we pull that into the internet of things. We don't replace anything, but we draw from all of that. And only by having a central repository of that data in one place can you then get the artificial intelligence and machine learning that is ultimately the promise of all of this emerging technology. I'm happy to say that we do this with a modular approach. Why is that important to you? Because you've got to start small. You've got to get an early win. 
You've got to show something that delivers an ROI and then build from there. You cannot boil the ocean. So we allow our customers to choose where they will begin, where they want to start this industry 4.0 journey. It could be with our operational excellence module. This is a very, very common place that a lot of customers start with. We may have them actually add on later or combine at the same time the finance module. IT and OT are big areas, so a lot of times a third-party systems connectivity module is very, very early on adopted. Regardless, though, of your priorities, of the areas that you want to start with first, we are here to help you grow slowly with these modules in a way that incrementally shows ROI before you ever make that next investment in a module. We do this in a very simple four-week process. In the first week, we understand your needs, including your goals and challenges. We then, by week two, are already showing you demos and use cases that include the ROI analysis so that you can start to prioritize what matters most to you. By week three, we're already in the final planning and approval stages of these modules since they, they, they range from 500 to 1,500 usually. These are very cost-effective, easy ROI business cases we can make for you. We define that solution so that by week four, you're already beginning and entering production implementation of one or more of those modules. Each module can be rolled out usually within about two months, no more than four. But the key here is within 30 days, you can begin your business transformation journey, leveraging industry 4.0 and emerging technologies such as the internet of things and artificial intelligence. Please reach out to us. Let's explore your options. Let's understand your specific needs, your goals and challenges. And then if nothing else, give you some options to consider as you move forward this year with Industry 4.0. Thank you very much.